Tesla's CEO is in hot water once again with the Securities and Exchange Commission, and investors aren't too happy about it. We've got shares of Tesla lower by nearly 3% in the pre-market. That's because regulators are asking a federal judge to hold Musk in contempt for tweets last week, saying the company would make around 500,000 cars in 2019. That was a tweet that was quickly corrected by Musk. The SEC says Musk did not ask for pre-approval as required under his settlement for that now infamous tweet about taking the company private. Yahoo Finance's editor-in-chief Andy Serwer with me now for more. Good morning. Good morning. We should say we did reach out to Tesla for comment. No comment for, uh, for us right now. But what do you make of this latest move from the SEC? Well, on the one hand, it has become the expectation that Elon Musk sends these crazy tweets out. Uh, on the other hand, you know, now he is facing the consequences because he's been warned by the Securities and Exchange Commission. And I don't blame the SEC for seeking uh, this action from the court and holding him in contempt. You know, somebody had tweeted out, we don't know, uh, I don't know if it's a shareholder or not, saying, you know, it's not what Musk is saying that's driving the stock down. It's the SEC's reaction to what Musk is saying. And then he actually tweeted back and talked about the SEC needing to, to work on itself and that it's broken. I mean, look, you know, he sent this tweet out um, saying the company was going to go private, and that got him in hot water. And the SEC said, you have to stop doing this, and you need oversight from the board. Um, and we thought this process was put into place. And now we went ahead and did this. I think what Elon Musk doesn't understand is that when he puts out a tweet about material information concerning his company, people will trade on that. Right. So an investor will say, wow, you're making 500,000 cars? That's more than I thought. I'm going to buy the stock. And then people lose money. He has to stop tweeting out material information about his company. He can say, really proud of everyone who works at Tesla. We had a great year. That's fine. But when he's doing things that are forward-looking and that impact the stock, he needs to stop. And I want to know, where is the board? Brian yeah. Sazi, uh, one of the members of the team, wrote about Larry Ellison, the former uh, the, the, the CEO of Oracle, who um, is on the board and should have oversight here and wondering where he is and yeah, I agree. Well, under his settlement, anything he tweeted that had material information about the company was supposed to get be pre-approved by the company. We don't know if it's by the board or, or their newly elected uh, appointed chairperson, but it, clearly that's not happening. It's not. And, you know, other CEOs can do this, right? Every other CEO on the planet is able to use Twitter if they want to and not get into trouble with the SEC. I mean, clearly he does not have any respect for the SEC. He right. makes fun of them and he holds them in disdain. And that is not a great um, operating manual for a chief executive to have, to sort of have the regulator in such low regard. I mean, at some point, you know, your investors are going to pay the price for this. And they are this morning with that lower stock price. Certainly. Of Lexus. Do you think at some point the board will just have to truly consider replacing Elon Musk as CEO, even though he is so, so intertwined, so much the face of this company? I mean, more than that, he's irreplaceable. It's his vision. It's his baby. He understands this business better than anyone. So the board is in a very tricky yeah. place because while he's doing this behavior, if it was a typical CEO, they would he would be long gone by now. Of course. But in this case, the founder, the driving force, the person who knows the business better than anyone, he's kind of irreplaceable.